Jeremy Sohan came off the bench last night, Spurs fans. Does that mean the Jeremy Sohan point guard experiment is now officially over? I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take it. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Real quick, my apologies on how my eye looks. It feels much better than it looks. That being said, bit of a shocker last night as Jeremy Sohan came off the bench and Chetty Osman started in his place. Spurs fans, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this is the end of the Jeremy Sohan point guard experiment? Is Pop just kind of experimenting with lineups right now? Hit the thumbs up to help support our channel and subscribe to become part of our wonderful sports community. Let's jump into this article I found from Pounding the Rock this morning. They say, in a very curious move by Pop, he moved Jeremy Sohan, who is healthy, to the bench for only the fourth time in his career, but not in the change you would think. Most would have expected, myself included, the move to be to add a point guard in Trey Jones, but instead, Chetty Osma was Sohan's replacement, creating a lineup that hadn't recorded a single minute together before last night. That group ended up being outscored 17-21 to in the game, winning their first quarter stint 10-9, to but starting the third quarter 7-12. to Pop didn't really give us any answers in the post-game interview, kind of cryptic on what's going to be happening with the starting lineup. I think there's two questions I want to address specifically today, Spurs fans. The first one, I think, is a lot of us were asking this last night. If we're benching Sohan, why aren't we starting one of our point guards? Trey Jones would be the obvious choice, as he was a starter before. Devontae Graham, probably not. Blake, no chance. Blake Wesley. Uh, he's been reassigned back to G League. He's been a yo-yo going back and forth between the, the Spurs, the Austin Spurs, and the San Antonio Spurs. But Trey Jones seemed like the obvious answer to start last night, and he didn't. Last night's rotations really felt odd to me, Spurs fans. Zach Collins launching, channeling his inner Allen Iverson and launching 20 shots brick after brick just kind of had me scratching my head, wondering why aren't we bringing Charles Bassey off the bench? Why is Zach shooting, shooting so much? That being said, to the team's credit and Pop's credit, the defense was much better last night, and Wemby pretty much shut Carl Anthony Towns down when he was on him. We competed with the best team in the NBA. It was our 15th loss in a row, but the game was close, and much like almost every game it seems like lately, except for when the Spurs are getting blown out, we were close until the end, and then in the fourth quarter, the team just the opposing team just pulled away. The other second question I want to really ask today, Spurs fans, is how is this affecting Jeremy Sohan. How is his confidence right now coming off the bench? We saw some mistakes last night on one of his miscues. He was immediately pulled out of the rotation and put right back on the bench. This is our ninth overall pick from last year. Whether you like Jeremy Sohan or you don't, you should be rooting to, for him to succeed as a Spurs fan. If he fails, this would be two years in a row of hattering lottery busts. And we're not the Detroit Pistons. We don't want lottery busts and constantly drafting every year. Of course, Joshua Primo the year before and Sohan last year. We really need him to succeed. To have this rebuild work the way we wanted to, to be a playoff team again, we can't miss on draft picks, especially lottery picks. And honestly, Spurs fans, I'm worried how this is going to affect him moving forward. At times, Jeremy does not look anything like the guy that we saw develop over last season. He was one of our best finishers at the rim last year. This year, he, he can't seem to finish at all. He's making a lot of mistakes. His defense has been up and down. The point guard experiment, I'm sure you, I mean, you saw in quotes, not a big fan of. He's willing to do it. And now going from a starter to the bench, I'm really worried how that's going to affect him. And let's also not forget Spurs fans. He was drafted to be our point, or our point, I got a point in my head, our power forward in the next decade or so. This was our franchise power forward. We have been just wanting Spurs to draft not a guard in a draft and draft a Ford, and they finally did. They drafted Sohan, and immediately the next season, to, through no fault of his own, he's been replaced at the four spot by Victor Wembyama. Of course, the Spurs could not pass up on Wemby, and I'm sure he understands that, but that's got a sting too when you're expected to be the guy at a position, and then through no fault of your own, the next year you're already not that guy, and now you're playing a position that you've never played before in your life. I see some Spurs fans turning on Jeremy, say, let's go ahead and trade him and some draft picks for who this, that, and the other. I don't want that to happen. I want to see him succeed. I really do. And I'm just worried that this point guard experiment and now going to the bench is really going to stunt his growth. This year is about experimenting, apparently. 
but it should be for all of our guys growing and getting better. And to this day, in my humble opinion, we haven't put Wemby in the best chance to succeed. And quite frankly, we're not putting Jeremy Sohan in the best place to succeed. And that could be slowing both their development. Wemby, because he's a general type of talent, generational type of talent, uh, talent ugh, may overcome these challenges. But Jeremy Sohan right now is not. And I really hope his season turns around sooner than later. At the very least, his three-point shooting has gotten better. But I hope the rest of his game comes together, whatever the Spurs do with him. Whether he's going to be the primary guy off the bench with Trey Jones, or if he finds his way back in the starting lineup. That being said, Spurs fans, we got to beat the Bulls Friday night, man. We got to beat them tomorrow night. I do not want to see our guys tie the losing streak, which will be 16, the longest losing streak for the San Antonio Spurs. Don't want this franchise being tied to that because the schedule only gets tougher next week. I believe we have back-to-back -back games against the Lakers. And if we don't win tomorrow night, and yes, I said we, we're a Spurs family. I'm not on a team, but it's a family. Then the Spurs very easily could drop. 17 and then 18 and I just I don't even want to think about that so let's be former teammate DeMar DeRozan who hopefully is playing tomorrow night and beat Chicago we'll be live of course on the channel I think the game is at 8 30 8 30 tomorrow night and hopefully my eye is not gross and red like it is now so thank you all for tuning in thank you all for continuing to support the team as much as they lose I know you love the Spurs as much as I do and hopefully a win is right on the horizon have a great day thank you for watching and as always go Spurs go I'm a mortal. When I feel like this, I'm a mortal.